Welcome, I'm Matt Hammer, Senior Director of Product Management for Salesforce Identity. Hope everyone's staying safe, happy, and healthy out there. Today I'm going to talk to you about protecting your Salesforce environment with multi-factor authentication. Multi-factor authentication is a quick way to increase the trust that you have in the users who are logging into your Salesforce org. Uh, today I'll be taking you through the steps needed to understand who's using multi-factor authentication, uh, how to set it up, and the user experience for enrolling in Salesforce Authenticator. Let's get started. In your organization, as you start considering to roll out multi-factor authentication to your user base, the best way to start any journey is to understand where you're starting from. So I'm going to go over a few ways for you to understand the current position that you're in uh, in regards to multi-factor authentication. First and foremost, starting with looking at your users to see if anyone has enrolled with any multi-factor authentication methods. So. I'm logged into Salesforce Series Administrator. I'm going to go to Setup. And go to Users. And I'm going to create just a custom list view that will show the different multi-factor authentication methods that each user has registered in. So I'll create new view. We'll call it MFA Users. I'm going to leave the existing selected fields and I'm going to go ahead and add in these at the bottom here. Okay, so I'll add those across. I'm going to leave this as visible to me for now and hit save. And so what that does is gives you a nice custom list view inside of your users page where you can see all of your users and then what types of verification methods that they have currently enrolled. Uh, you can also, from here, disconnect if you needed to do that or generate a temporary token in case somebody needs to log in and doesn't have their phone with them. Okay. All right, so now that we have a good idea of what verification methods someone, uh, all the users in the organization have, how can we take a look at if they're using them? So in Setup, uh, we'll move away from the Users page and we'll go to Identity Verification. Study Verification History Report will show you every time a user was verified with multi-factor authentication. So it's similar to login history in that login history shows every login. This will show you every verification. It will show you uh, who was verified, why they were verified, so the activity, what triggered it, what method was used, whether it was a security key or a text message or Salesforce Authenticator. Okay, to quickly recap, uh, we've looked at what users in your org have multi-factor authentication methods enrolled by creating a custom list view. We just reviewed the identity verification history report, which shows every time a user is verified, why they're verified, and what method that they used. Now let's go ahead and set up multi-factor authentication using a permission set. So to do that, we're going to create a new permission set. So I'll just go to permission sets. A new. I'll call this require MFA. And I'll leave the license set to none, which means that this permission set can be assigned to any user type, user license. So in this permission set, we need to include the permission that requires users to uh, log in with two-factor authentication, multi-factor authentication. So I click Edit, and we'll scroll down to the two-factor. So here's so a two-factor authentication for user interface logins. We'll check that. You can also specify to set two-factor authentication for API logins. Uh, we encourage you to do this, but you need to make sure that you don't have any uh, API connections that that might get in the way of. So to, for now, I'll just click it on user interface logins. Scroll back to the top and hit Save. See confirmation screen, just uh, asking us, uh, confirming what changes we made to this permission set, and click save. All right, now that we have the permission set created, let's assign it to uh, a user. I'll click on manage assignments, click add assignments. When you first are testing out multi-factor authentication, just getting used to it, I definitely suggest assigning it to a single user, a test user, just so you can get a good understanding of how it's going to uh, work and behave when that user logs in. 
I also suggest don't using your own account, a system administrator account, as the first one to test, just in case that there are certain scenarios you might lock yourself out. So in this case, I'm going to select uh, just one user here. We'll pick Asha and assign that. And click Done to confirm. All right, so now we've set up a permission set that requires users who have that permission set to log in with two-factor authentication. We've assigned it to Asha. So now let's log in as Asha and see what her user experience will be. Okay, so again. Okay, so you can see what happened just happened was uh, Asha logged in for the first time after she has been designated to require multi-factor authentication. Since Salesforce recognized that she didn't have any multi-factor authentication methods currently enrolled or currently registered, it immediately uh, pushed her into an enrollment flow so she can connect Salesforce Authenticator to her account. So as you can see, Asha is being uh, directed to download Salesforce Authenticator from the App Store, Google Play Store, and then click in the app, tap Add to connect your account. Okay. And so I have Authenticator freshly installed on the phone, so I will click on Add an Account. And you can see what happens is it generates a two-word phrase. This two-word phrase is what we're going to use to connect uh, this account to the authenticator. So it's a temporary two-word code phrase. It's just something that can be easily remembered and typed in. So connect it. Oh, not that easily remembered. Okay, now I can see it's prompted me to look at my phone to see uh, to complete the enrollment. So let's look at that. So on the phone, this is what we see. So Asha is being asked to connect this Salesforce Authenticator app to her Salesforce account. You can see there. We'll go ahead and click Connect, and it's now added. So we can use that for authenticating. Just go ahead and logs in. Well, thank you so much today for attending this quick session on getting started with multi-factor authentication. Have a great week.